In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up our cold only models. Before we get started, a couple things. First, we want a flat, stable surface that can support up to 1,200 pounds. We want access to a GFCI outlet. The unit comes with a 15-foot cord, so anything over that, you're gonna need an extension cord. We wanna be sure there's 16 inches on the back side of the unit to make sure you can service the unit. And lastly, we wanna assure the plunge is five feet away from any other appliances for safety purposes. Included with your plunge, the phone and tablet mount, a hose filter, a filter wrench, keys to lock your cover, and a skimmer net. Prior to setting up our plunge, we wanna assure that the chiller is stable for at least three hours. Step one, we're going to remove the chiller from the tub and place it on the component side of the plunge. Step two, before filling up the plunge, we wanna connect the in hose from the pump to the in port on the chiller. Now we're ready to fill up the plunge. We recommend using the blue hose filter and letting the water run out 10 seconds prior to filling up the plunge. Please note, you are going to connect the out hose to the chiller as soon as the water filter is full of water. Connecting the out hose before the water filter is full can cause air to be trapped in the system and connecting after will cause water to leak from the out hose connection. Step four, now that the plunge is filled, we wanna connect the out hose from the water filter to the out port located on the chiller. Now we are going to plug the chiller into the electrical box. Take the plug from the chiller, open the electrical box, and find the open outlet and plug it in. From here, we're going to take the main cord coming out of the electrical box and plug it into our main power supply. We wanna plug this into a 110 GFCI outlet. Now we're gonna set the temperature on our chiller. Important to note for all of our standard units, we wanna make sure that the green switch is on on the side of the chiller. We wanna hold down the set button until it beeps, and then lower to the temperature that we desire. Then hit the set button again to take us back to the current temperature of the water. To turn the light on or off, Press the silver button on the side of the plunge. To set up the phone holder, you wanna loosen the nut on the back of the mount, push the ball from the arm into the hole, and then tighten the nut. Pull off the film from the suction cups, Place the holder where you want it, and then tighten on the back of each suction cup by screwing clockwise. The plunge is designed to have water flow 24 seven. Water flow is important for these three reasons. Stagnant water is not sanitary for the system. If the chiller is on with no water flow, it can cause damage to your chiller. And if the temperature drops in your region below freezing with no water flow, it can ultimately crack the system. Please check out our water maintenance videos on how to maintain your unit. Important warranty information. Please note that any damage caused by freezing conditions or improper water chemistry are not covered under warranty. Now that your plunge is set up, we recommend creating a consistent plunging routine. 
Be sure to check out our guided plunge and plunge fundamental videos to help you on your journey. Enjoy your plunge.